Hi, everybody. It's Susan Gerbic. I have pondered this one question for a very long time, and I feel like I had a breakthrough moment and figured it out. I was having my cup of tea, and I, the question that I get a lot and that I get to myself is, why, why do psychic grief vampire mediums not solve cold cases okay yeah i know they're not really communicating with the dead i got that but why do more not attempt to or are seen to or make a good effort to i mean you could cold you could do some research and you could easily give some kind of information about a person and uh, you know a case and say what the other you know police and, and so on speculate is actually going on but they don't sometimes you get them they allude to it a little bit <clears throat> they'll say i was um i give advice to the police they consult me often but never any names are mentioned never anything is mentioned that would probably give anything that somebody could check up on I remember Tip Coffee would say that he doesn't do those kind of cases because he knows that it would harm his family if if um, somebody who had murdered someone knew that Chip Coffee was speaking to the dead and would relay that to a police officer that they may preemptively um, kill him and his family members or hold him hostage or something. I don't know why he wouldn't know that was going to happen, but um, <clears throat> that's why he didn't do that kind of case. Like he's protecting his family from, from that. But I was looking at, I'm working on this book. It's called Grief Vampire. And I'm focused on a chapter on uh, the, the medium next door. Her name is Maureen Hancock. And she was everywhere in the media, psychic wise, for a while. Um, trailer, um, a book. Um, all the entertainment kind of uh, news agencies, those fluffy piece things that they turn out that were really starting to focus on her. She had the look. She had the attitude. She had the energy. She was primo um, for being the next Tyler Henry. This is before Tyler Henry. Because they're kind of created by the... Um, the networks they they say you know we could really use a new psychic out there and they should be this and they should be young and they should be energetic and and um you know they they put that together and then they find somebody who'll fit it and then they groom them for it because it's huge money so i've wondered why marine hancock wasn't that person because she she looked the part she was great um, as far as that goes it doesn't matter if they can really communicate with the dead it, that that isn't important to the networks because they can just edit it away and i think what happened is marine hancock was one of these psychic detectives and she would go out and she would go to the person's house of the um you know family member and they'd go on looking for clues or you know i feel something's happening over here I think that the networks that backfired on her because networks don't want to have another Sylvia Brown who, who uh, years ago said right to the face of the family with Sean Hornbeck and uh, Amanda Berry that their child had died. And then the child turns up years later or other things. I mean, Sylvia Brown was notorious for all of the failures she had. I mean, you can just look at her Wikipedia page. They're all chronicled there. It's pretty bad. So I have a feeling that networks want to steer away from anybody who's doing psych de detective work. Because if they invest a lot of money in the brand of the psychic that they're pushing, and then they're doing these detective stuff, you know, making assertions that the person has died or that they're living somewhere and then 
the body is discovered and the crime is discovered and it is completely opposite of whatever the psychic detective said well that is huge and i know that with amanda berry even though it was years ago with sylvia brown who was watching the tv show where she was a, had been a, held in uh, ohio she was watching it as as sylvia brown was telling her mother that she was dead and amanda berry was just like what i'm alive i'm alive why can't you tell her i'm alive it was it was a really big fail <clears throat> and that was a long time ago now with social media i think it would be devastating to a career of a psychic that that did that kind of thing um i have a video on maureen hancock that is um going to be on my channel psychic Ex psychics explain and it is a um maureen hancock does give all this information the woman has disappeared she's been gone um since 2000 and i think the interview that uh, marine is doing is in 2008 2013 so she's been gone at least 13 years at that point and marine tells the sister that she was strangled and that there was a field and um some other information that she's gone so she makes some bold statements as if they're real and i think that if the woman is found and she was shot or stabbed not strangled that would be really hurtful to marine's career career as a psychic medium or if the woman appear is has is found alive um, that would be a huge um, problem for Maureen. So I think that's why you don't see more psychics doing this kind of psychic detective thing where people's names are named. And I think that's why maybe the networks don't pick up um, and push the career of somebody who seems like they'd be really, really great for, for t uh, to be the TV psychic <clears throat> is because of that. So let me know what you think in um in the comment section could you please let me know what you think if i'm on the right track but i've spent a lot of years thinking about this and this morning cup of tea just really made me really focus and think about it in a different way and i think that's what's going on <laughs>